Hey, what's up everybody? David here with Tough Guys TV, and this is gonna be a super fast episode. We had a plumbing leak on Christmas Eve. Well, we noticed it on Christmas Eve, and now I can't run my washer and dryer that are out here in the barn. So we have a bunch of PEX that's up here above us in the ceiling. We have a couple of one inch caps we need to install. These are by Sharkbite. And we have a one inch ball valve or a shutoff that I need to install on the other side of the barn because the shutoff that's outside is actually in a hole in the ground that fills up with mud. And since we are staying out here on our aunt and uncle's land while we're waiting to build our own house, we don't wanna leave them with a mess to clean up in the future. So by putting the shutoff here inside the garage, it's gonna make things way easier for them in the future. Anyways, we hope that you will have a fun time watching us fix this plumbing and maybe learn something along the way because I probably will. Stay tuned for this video. And right here is where the leak was happening. It was up there, upstairs, there's a tub above us that no one uses. The idea is we're gonna disconnect these two right here and just cap them off for now so we can decide what we're gonna do with the tub upstairs. And then tracking it back this way, here is where everything comes in from outside. This one inch pipe right here, also PEX, this is where it tees out and goes to the various things inside the barn. But this is the main water line coming in a one inch line. This is my helper. He's been making geodes today. Well, not making them, but breaking them open. So that's pretty cool. It's a little bit more fun than fixing plumbing leak on Christmas Eve. Yeah. So now let me show you the hole or pit of despair that's outside that I dig the mud out of and the water out of, which we'll probably have to do again. Let me show you. I probably shouldn't whistle because it'll be like copyright infringement or something. I don't know. Here it is just as I left it. Hi, how's it going everybody? Down inside of there is the shutoff and it fills with water and I use this bucket to empty it. And since I don't have anything to get in there, I'm using this kid's sandcastle thing to empty the water when I need to. But yeah, so this is the shutoff and we don't want them to have to deal with this in the future. So this line goes right here into the building. That's where that one, one inch line is. So we don't ever have to deal with this again. We can just shut it off in here. But here's our ladder we're gonna be using. This is a cross step. Now they do make a PEX cutter, and this is what they look like. You just kind of expand this. This will... Awesome! <laughs> this will probably work. Anyways, here's the one inch ball valve, or the shutoff as I call it. The PEX needs to go in about one inch, or actually one inch, on each side of this. So when I cut it, I have to make sure I have enough room to allow myself to do that. And then here are the shark bite half inch caps. These are just going to cap off those lines up there. So for these, it's pretty easy. You're just going to make the cut and you're gonna press it in place. They do have some handy dandy image instructions here for you. Mark it, cut it, press it in place. It's pretty straightforward. Hopefully I can show you that here in the video. Here is the one inch line. Now this thing does say up to one inch PEX. I don't feel like it's gonna flex, but maybe it will flex. And I dropped it. So here is the ball valve. It goes away now, there's nothing there. So the idea is gonna be to put it this way install it in line and I will need one inch to go in on both sides so when I make the cut here I'm gonna have to remove a little bit of this pipe unless we have some movement once I cut it all right it is on We have some water coming out. It's probably the water that's held in the system. Now I'm gonna let this drip for a second so that as I break the line all the way, it doesn't just explode everywhere and mainly onto the camera. We let the pressure out of that line and that way it wouldn't be making our lives difficult. And this cutter did seem to go all the way around. So you can imagine there's a lot of water in this system in the barn. We have a bathroom upstairs. So basically any of that water that was held in the line, we needed to get that out of there. So again, we're gonna need a little bit of slack on the ends of these things, a little bit of extra pipe, bottom and the top so that we can get these in there. So I don't wanna just mark it and cut it flush, right? It needs to go an inch in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the bottom a little bit further down and I'm gonna mount it down here. And you can see there, the little razor blade that's inside of the cutter. And on here it marks off and on, so we know we want this in a direction where it's not trapped up against the wall. So there's the piece that we removed. But these are the lines we're gonna be working with, and this is as close as I can get my camera. 
So uh, apologies in advance. Here's a little cutter we're gonna use on these. And here are those half inch caps. Now, as I turn this, I'm tightening it as I go. Here is one of those half inch caps. And the goal here is just to press this thing into place. And I am putting a good amount of pressure on these. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else with the shark bites. That's what makes them great. And number two. And here's what you should be left with. Now that I can hold the light, get a little bit better light for you guys. And these other two lions, they don't really matter. We're gonna pull all that plumbing out later, but when they're capped, this is what you have. I got the water turned back on. I spared you the misery of watching me scoop water out of that hole and no leaks so far. So that's the good news. The ball valve is holding tight as well as the two caps we put up in the ceiling. So, so far it has been a success. He's freezing cold, so he's using the little heater that we have over here because I can't run the big propane heater because the RV needs propane. Anyways, if you need these shark bite pieces, you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Either way, they should have them and probably a bunch of other places as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys coming along for this one. I hope that I offered something to help you out. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, check out www.toughguys.tv. Thanks so much, see you in the next video.